The woman charged in connection with the death of Fort Hood soldier Vanessa Guillen is expected in court. Investigators believe Cecily Aguilar helped dispose of Vanessa Guillen's body. Guillen suspected killer Aaron Robinson shot and killed himself when approached by officers last week. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers is tracking the story today. Brittany, a vigil was held last night and it seemed everyone there wanted one thing and that is justice for Vanessa and her family. Yes, that's right. Certainly uh, many people keeping the family on their mind right now and out here at this mural where the vigil was held, you can see the candles still burning and still flickering this morning in her memory. And as you mentioned, many people who, who knew her, even strangers, all say they want justice. Flowers and candles to honor a friend and soldier. On Sunday, devastating details emerged after the family attorney for Vanessa Guillen say the Army specialist remains were positively identified. Guillen had been missing since April. They couldn't um, identify with the, with their dental examination. They couldn't confirm her uh, whether it was her with the dental because her uh, Vanessa's uh, face was bashed in so badly there was no teeth for them to identify. Um, so that's why they had to send her body to a uh, Dover Air Force Base to get examined. According to the family attorney, the suspect in the case, Aaron Robinson, is believed to have killed Vanessa with a hammer. According to the attorney, Robinson told authorities that Guillen wanted to report him for having a relationship with a married woman, but the family disputes that. What we believe is she probably was telling him she was going to report him about the sexual harassment. He obviously wouldn't want to tell his girlfriend that he's sexually harassing another woman. And that's why she was going to report him. Alleged accomplice 22 year old Cecily Aguilar is charged with conspiracy to tamper with evidence. She's scheduled to be in court in Waco today. Meanwhile, in Houston, the memory of Guillen lives on in this new mural at Powerhouse Gym and in the hearts of people who knew her. She was always motivated, she always worked hard. I feel for the family, for her mom. And as a mother, I do not wish that for anybody. And the only thing that we can do now is keep fighting for justice and for her voice and everybody else's uh, voice in the military to be heard. So again, according to authorities, the suspect in this case, Aaron Robinson, was found he shot and killed himself. And Aguilar, we are told, is set to remain in custody after her court appearance in Waco today. Live here in Southeast Houston, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC, Channel 2 News.